they're one win away. For the Panthers are one win away. They've won 10 out of their last 11 games since falling behind 3-1 to to Boston. I don't know what the hell's in the water in Florida. But, my goodness. Th- again, again, I said this many times before. This is the run quite a few thought forwarders would have last year. Because, th- yes, they won the President's Trophy. It's supposed to be a jinx, which it is. It is. It is a jinx. But, this is the run that a lot of people thought Ford was going to have last year. That didn't happen. Wasn't even, didn't even close to ha- come close to happening. They ended the, the they ended the series victory jinx. They ended the series victory jinx last year, but they got killed by Tampa. This year, they finish thirty point thirty points worse than they did last year. Barely make the playoffs. They were the second to last team to make it, and then. Uh, all of a sudden, they've won 11 playoff games, and they've won, they're one win away from reaching the Stanley Cup Final for the second time in franchise history, and the first time since 1996, that magical run back then. I am getting a mix of 03 Mighty Ducks and 2021 Montreal Canadiens vibes here. I'm getting that. Because I've seen a lot of improbable runs in hockey. But this takes the cake. I mean, Boston was supposed to kill them. Boston was supposed to kill them. Even when they didn't, Toronto was supposed to kill them. Toronto was supposed to kill them. Remember, Toronto had the best chance to win the whole thing when Boston got beat out. And they got fizzled in five games. I don't know what the hell is going on with Florida because Florida statistically shouldn't be shouldn't be close to this far. Matt Kachuk carried this team pretty much by himself. Now all of a sudden everybody else is waking up at the right time. That's usually how it goes at the right time. But and Bobrovsky, oh boy, you know it, it always takes a good goalie to lead a charge like this, an improbable charge like this. I am getting, well, I was going to say I'm getting Jiggy vibes, but no, 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 no. Jiggy was a whole nother animal. Jiggy was a whole nother animal 20 years ago. He was so, he, Jiggy was so fucking good in that run. He got the con smite even though he lost the final. That's how good he was. That's how good he was. He got the fight, he got the con smite even though he lost the final. And and it's crazy what the Panthers are doing. And what's even crazier is what the Hurricanes are not doing. You know, the Hurricanes just can't seem to find any answer. They have no answer. They've scored three goals in this series. That's nothing. Now, granted, this isn't as bad as Minnesota, Minnesota 20 years ago when they always scored once in that sweep. But it's just bad. Ford is going to the Stanley Cup Final. This series is over. And yeah, it's hockey. The reverse sweep has happened the most the most uh, in the NHL than any other league. It's only happened once in baseball, and it's never happened in the NBA, so Lakers fans can forget it. Um, so can, so can uh, Celtics fans. But I can't see Ford losing four in a row. They have... I, I, I can't see Florida losing four in a row. Uh, they've never lost more than two in a row in this run. That's the scary part about this. This stretch that they're on makes their rec- playoff look, record look, look really good. They are 11-4. and 11-4 and four in the 2023 playoffs. If they win this and sweep... If they win this and sweep the final, they will match the record we had last year. 16-4. 16 and 4 was our record in last year's playoffs. They can match that if they if they like Aaron Rodgers says run the table. That's basically what they're doing. They're running the table. They are running the table. 
in the most difficult postseason in all the sports. They're running the table. A team that's basically made up of not a lot of superstars and uh, not a lot of star power is running the table when no one had them winning more than probably one or two games in the overall playoffs. And even when they upset the Bru- even when they upset the, 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 the Bruins, like I said, Toronto was supposed to just beat the shit out of them, and they didn't even come close. And then Carolina was supposed to kind of beat them, and they're not coming close. It's amazing what this what Ford is doing. Something tells you they're going to win this whole thing. They might be Vegas or Dallas out. I don't know. It, the time will tell, but whew, it is amazing what's going on here. Sam Reinhardt's goal was all they needed. Bobrovsky was a monster. That was it. So, game four of the Eastern Conference Final is is Wednesday. And we'll see if it's going to be a big-time celebration in Sunrise or if, or if uh, Carolina can at least break the brooms like Toronto did or they get killed at home again. It's going to be pretty interesting. So... That's my recap of Game 3. I said Game 4 is Wednesday. Before that, Game 3 of the Western Conference Final between the Golden Knights and the Stars. That's tomorrow night on, on ESPN. And Vegas is up two games to none, but the series shifts to Dallas. We'll see if Vegas will go up 3-0. And if that happens, we're pretty much getting Vegas and Ford in the final. That's going to be very, very interesting. So that's my recap. If you like this video, click the like button. Click subscribe if you want more. I'll be back tomorrow night to recap. Game three of the West. So stay tuned. Just wow.